I think one way of thinking about it is how it started. It started with a plan in 1966 by the Central Intelligence Agency in the United States wanting to know the capabilities of Soviet missiles that would carry nuclear weapons in the United States. They invented an extraordinary new technology called geostationary satellites, satellites that sat uh, above the equator at 36,000 uh, kilometres above the Earth. And those satellites, which were called Rhyolite satellites, had giant antennas on them, which could pick up the very weak signals that went from the Soviet missiles when they were being tested, sending information back to their base, the temperature of the rocket, how much fuel is being consumed, uh, uh, how hot is it, um, what's working, what's not working. Out of that, the CIA engineers could then derive an estimate of the capabilities and then, of course, what to match it with. They needed a place to downlink the data uh, from being sent down from space, uh, particularly in this part of the world, and uh, they needed an area which was secure from anyone listening in, for example, a Soviet spy listening to what the Americans know about the Soviet Union. That meant islands like Diego Garcia or Guam were out of choice or out of action, uh, and Central Australia was just the place. And so in 1966, uh, a site was selected just about 20k southwest of uh, where we are now in Alice Springs. That was Signals Intelligence. That's grown massively. It's been, it now is supplemented by a ground station for completely separate uh, set of geostationary satellites, which are staring at the Earth, looking through infrared telescopes at the heat blooms of the launch of missiles for early warning of the United States, but it's also for a great deal more now, including missile defence. So the signals intelligence part, the early warning part, grew and grew and grew, uh, and particularly signals intelligence, the collection of signals from the Earth's surface, radio signals, every cell phone in the world is a radio station, and uh, so Pine Gap collects vast amounts of data uh, on the content of cell phone conversations, and most importantly, for military purposes, their geolocation. And so much of that data is fed back to the United States, provides the targeting framework for drone attack programs uh, in countries with where, where we're at war, and those where we're not, where, of course, killing people using drones is simply murder.